this affects the results for the entire constituency. We therefore go on to declare the seat vacant. In the result, we therefore make the following orders. Number one, that the seat for the directly elected member of parliament for Ginger East constituency is vacant. Number two, the second appellant is ordered to hold fresh elections for member of parliament for Ginger East constituency. Three, and which is final, the respondent is entitled to the costs of this appeal and in the High Court. Dated today, <laughs> I want to partially to applaud their lordships. They made the correct analysis of the evidence, but they came to a wrong conclusion in my view. I respect the decision of court, but disagree with their conclusion. Having said that, of course I want to say that uh, my living God actually is in charge of all the situation. I came to court and I have not been under trial. It has been actually the judiciary under trial because intervention of court in electoral process goes a long way to guarantee that it is about to offer the leadership to my constituency because the leadership what my people wanted, they had submitted leadership for dealership. I think you saw what, where that our country is on the cliff. They need a leader of my stature. And actually, I want to assure the people of Ginger Spite East Constituency and the people of Uganda that actually I'll offer myself for in, through in the by-election. Let this be a learning process for all of us. Whoever participated in the electoral process to mess up this electoral process, this has been a learning process, and I can forgive them for that. However, regrettable that... Uh Instead of declaring uh, Honorable Muiru the valid elected member of parliament, the court has ordered a by-election. He's no, is not here, but as soon as he comes back, he will have a press conference and he will address you and to give a way forward for his next cause of action. But in, in any case, he's ready for a by-election as and when the Electoral Commission sets the date.